actually 6 40 right now we're saturday morning but i have an explanation for this i was waiting for the sunrise to start my vlog so now i can finally start it what happened is that i had a crazy week at work so i went to sleep super early like 8 30 and then woke up at 2 a.m maybe 3 a.m maybe i couldn't fall asleep so anyways i was like you know what i'm just gonna wait for the sunrise and start the day and here i am so today i'm going back to georgetown university going back just on the campus i'm not going to study there okay i'm done with studying i'm good thank you but i'm going back to the campus it's been 10 years since i left the university so i just like to just go back to old memories and share it with you i didn't do like any bachelor or master degree over there i actually came here to study english so there was like a, a specific program that would like okay it's too noisy i'll continue that later Okay, I think now we can talk. It's a specific program that welcomes international students, so people from everywhere, and they basically give them a basic training in English to study in American universities or any Anglophone universities. So, you know, it was a great way to, like, kind of get the ambience of the campus, feeling like you're part of it, but at the same time, you're not, like, like a regular student, right? It's more of a program, you just, like... You basically book sem semesters, and you can do one, two, three semesters, max, probably. And then you get a decent level in English and you're able to study after that. So that was pretty cool. And that was 10 years ago. So I, I'm, I'm old now. Uh, I was 19 at the time. That is a major place for me because it's the gym. And this is the first place where I started working out. I was 19. And like, I don't know, for some reason during my teen years, never truly worked out. So it was the first time when I came to uh, Washington DC that I started um, working out and I started running in this specific gym. And a couple of years later, five years later, I did a half marathon. I started running 10 minutes and I was out of breath and I couldn't do it anymore. And then I did it again, I did it again, I did it again. And five years later, I did a half marathon. This is where all the serious stuff would happen. This is where the work would happen. We would have all of our classes here. Like at the time we wrote something in, on the wall with my friends, but it's not there anymore. It was 10 years ago, okay? Probably all of our names saying that we would be friends forever. I want to get in, but I'm shy. I don't know why I've been so shy. It's like, it's almost like, you know, you have sometimes you have memories and you don't want really the you don't really want to distort these memories it's like i'm not ready to go back i it's been 10 years but i'm still not ready it's crazy so many things i remember here guys so many memories going through my mind okay and it was a super cool memory here these are dorms okay and i remember one day there was a huge party there is a rooftop over here and basically i remember literally hundreds of people on this rooftop partying again illegal party um and then at some point the police came so we all had to run and i lost my friend I lost my cousin. For those who didn't understand, I came here with my, oh my God, I remember literally taking these stairs. I came here with my cousin. She came with me from France. We had, she did one semester, I did two, but like she basically came with me. Other memories that pops up in my mind here, of it, around here, like there was a place dedicated to art in the campus where people would come and it was open mic, you could do poetry. And it was one of the first time I sung, you know, for strangers, you know. So I remember at the time I did the song Summertime, a cappella, and people were so nice. They gave me such nice feedbacks. And it was one of the first time I played music 
um, in front of other people. It was around here. Wow, so I, I can't believe that so many memories are popping, popping up into my mind. It's crazy. This place is very important as well. Here is the cafeteria. And I didn't come here a lot because my aunt basically has a house really, really close to the campus. So I would go there to have lunch, which is, I mean, I was very lucky. But I remember coming here a couple of times and guys, you would have at least five different little spots where you could get all type of food. So you had a spot where you could get uh, pasta, Italian food, a spot where you could get Asian food, a spot where you could get like burgers and that was insane. Okay, and last little bit of memory. Again, I was very drunk for this memory, so please forgive me if I'm, it's not the right place, but I think it was here. Yeah, for, I don't know why, for spring break, before spring break or around spring break, they brought Calvin Harris to play for us. And the ticket was like $15. That was epic. I don't remember much, to be quite honest. But I heard, I heard from my friends that that was epic and we had an amazing time. Um, I remember maybe five seconds or 10 seconds of a song. Um, probably we found love, by the way. It was crazy. And I don't even have videos of this because it was 2013, so probably at the time we had the iPhone 3 or 4, you know? I don't know how, how, how much we would take videos with these phones. That's it, we're leaving the campus. Now we're gonna hang out. Um, it's suddenly 7 a.m. and I'm so exhausted. Oh, let's walk here. Okay, these are a lot of dorms from Georgetown University. And I remember I have so many friends who lived here. I spent so much time here. I walked so many times here. That's crazy. Anyways, um, enough about my memories. I mean, I'm still going to talk about my memories during this entire video. So you better get ready. Um, but, oh, I remember my bestie living here. Oh, this apartment. It seems like all I remember is party. <laughs> but it was a great party time. You know, it was a really, really great party time. I think it's probably the best party time I remember. I mean, my party time in France was great too. Anyways, who cares? Um, but what I would do at the time, I would finish school and we would go hang out in the main street in the Georgetown area. So the Georgetown area is kind of a very specific area in Washington DC. It has like a very strong identity. It's a lot of old houses. Um, it's very cute, you know, it's very colorful as well. You know, you have a lot of like little colorful, colorful houses like that. And you have like kind of two, three main streets where there are a lot of little cafes, a lot of little restaurants. And we would go there a lot, hang out uh, with my friends. And I have a cute story. I fell in love for the first time here. So we had kind of a romance that lasted probably four days, uh, which I'm extremely ashamed of, like calling that my first love, but anyways. And I remember a very romantic story. It would be like the second date and we would be on the rooftop that probably, yeah, I think we were able to see it from here. We were on this rooftop and like we were kissing, <laughs> I'm so ashamed. <laughs> we were kissing in the rain. There was a light rain coming up <laughs> and we were kissing and that was so cute. Like honestly, <laughs> I'm so ashamed. I look here, I probably wrote a song about that at some point. <laughs> Like, like, as if this story was not cringe enough, I, I gotta add some more content, you know? This, this is what I do, this is what I do, this is what my YouTube channel is. I just add more cringe to the cringe. I just worked a couple hours, like two, three hours. You guys, I'm so tired. I'm so sleepy right now. 
wow i'm ready to go to bed like i woke up at 2 a.m it's 10 a.m so it feels a bit like it's 9 p.m in my head i don't even know how i did this calculation i'm pretty impressed for some reason i'm heading to the contemporary art museum this is what i decided to do um, let's see how it goes I'm pretty excited actually because every time I want to do something I don't feel like doing it in the moment but when I'm there no it's better than going back home and watching Netflix or YouTube videos right so we're gonna do that we order a little uber because I'm allowed to be lazy I didn't sleep much and yeah let's see how it goes let's go yeah Miguel cool thanks How are you doing today? Good, good. Man, you got to be much easier. <laughs> yeah, right? I know it's gonna sound like I have no culture, but the vibe low-key reminds me of Disneyland. I don't know why, I have to say it. It's not bad if I just say it. I was going through my mind. I got it. It's because the grass is very clean and like properly done. And also the plants are like very well done over there. So that's the reason why it reminds me of Disney World. You see, I just have a good eye. that was pretty nice I got a iced coffee from the place guys I'm still in shock you will never believe what happened to me mm. do you remember that person I told you about that I kissed on this rooftop I saw them like what were the odds I'm I'm so conflicted how could this ever happen like you talk about somebody that you haven't seen in 10 years and the day you talk about them, you see them. Like, that's a one in a million. Like, I, I, I mean, I'm disturbed. Because, like, okay, I'm so disturbed. And I saw them, they saw me. We, we like, we both did that, and like, we both looked away. And <laughs> then I was like, so curious. So I was like, I came back to make sure that it was them. I'm like I'm 99% sure it was them just based on the reaction to you know what the fuck it's so weird well but other than that I'm out of battery so this is gonna be the end thank you so much for following my adventures in in Washington DC hope you enjoyed the little throwback I mean I did enjoy it I enjoyed the museum but at the end I was just like so disturbed by the situation how could this ever happen so weird but anyways I'm, I'm gonna spend time to unwind a bit that's pretty look at that this city is pretty like oh the capital is it a capital I don't know it's the little I don't even I don't even know how we call that the, there is a monument Washington monument might be as you can see I'm very passionate about this yeah, the famous monument. Anyways, who cares? You've seen it in movies. Maybe you came here too. Anyways, okay, I stop here. Bye. Have a good day. Thank you for following. Thank you for watching.